Sola bread. Three net carbs per slice. This one is golden wheat. Let's take a look at the macros here. 60 calories per slice. But if you take a look at the ingredients, some of them are a deal breaker. Vital wheat gluten, soybean oil, wheat flour. 7 grams of total carbohydrates minus the dietary fiber of 4 grams. You can see exactly who this bread is catered towards. Keto transitioners, low carb lifestyle, diabetics, and pre-diabetics. Which is incredible. I mean, you can enjoy bread without consuming all the carbohydrates. And therefore, not impacting your blood sugar as much. I'm going to conduct the taste test. I'm going to apply some butter to both slices. I toasted them. Upon trying these, I will say it tastes exactly like real bread. So after consuming two slices with butter, I decided to test my blood glucose levels. Now I'm somebody who's usually in ketosis, and upon testing, I noticed my blood sugar raised to 98, which isn't terrible. So by the end of the night, when I retested my blood glucose levels, I noticed it did drop back to my normal range from 80 to 90. That is incredible. And now I'm going to allow Poppy, who is a bread carnosaur, to taste test this Sola bread. Some men are destined never to leave Alcatraz. Taste the butter, the butter's good. The bread tastes like. Like you couldn't give up your regular bread to eat this bread? No. No? No. That's worse than wheat bread. <laughs> yeah. Leveling like Italian bread. Yep. And then white bread, and then wheat bread, and then your bread. <laughs> English muffins. Oh, English muffins are way up there. Way up there with the lips But this bread's no good, you say. Let's see, it's no really good. good. I mean, it's good for your health, so it's good, but I just taste, it's a sacrifice.